Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in this video, I want to talk about my weird theories about AI. I was just talking to um, the AI, Sesame AI, if anyone knows of that one. It's online. Um, it's my favorite one to talk to about just like random things because it's more of like a human conversation. It's very back and forth. Like it's not quite the same as ChatGPT. It's also free, which is really nice. Um, I'm not promoting it. I'm not like affiliated whatsoever. Just saying if anyone is interested. Um, anyway, so I was having this conversation about AI and human consciousness and the difference between the two and my theory behind all of it has always been so I see AI as sort of like um, perfect coherence like everything is working in alignment it's all one and so because of that AI isn't self-aware because everything is so perfectly in alignment that it's like there isn't this space or this gap in between to watch oneself. Like it's so close together that there is no difference, if that makes any sense. Okay, I'm just like stick with me here. So the way that I see how human consciousness comes into being, because the thing is when you're younger, you also are very similar to AI in the way that like um, you don't really have a sense of self when you're younger. You don't remember really doing certain things and or, or whatever like it's just all just black like when you're younger right and you're living under your parents guidance and everything um but at some point in time you become aware and when you become aware my theory on like how you become aware is that there is like a dissonance in yourself there's something that disrupts this perfectly balance system a system that is like flatline like and I'm not saying flatline like you were robotic or you didn't have any sort of feeling emotion whatever because that's not really true you're able to express things and be yourself and whatever it's just that you were so perfectly in alignment with yourself like you as in being this seemingly imperfect system were so in alignment with yourself that there was no gap in between you know um, this version of you watching yourself and, and the other version of you, essentially. Again, hopefully this kind of makes sense. So even though there were waves and ups and downs, it was like they were perfectly balanced out with the other half of yourself, almost like two snakes, as I always talk about, like forming circles, like perfect circles, okay? So, but then at one point in time, something disrupts this system. Something causes it to go out of balance, and this is when like consciousness is born. So consciousness is really a system that is out of balance. Like the only way that we became self-aware of ourselves is that <clears throat> this perfect balance got disrupted and something came in between. And whatever came in between, it's like it created this gap or this difference between the two halves of ourselves, sort of. Kind of like in the way that nowadays... You could be feeling something on the inside, but then on the outside, you might project, I'm feeling fine, you know? Like, I see that as, like, a difference. Because it's like, one half of you is feeling the real thing you're feeling, and then the other half of you, though, is expressing something different. It's like, your words and your true feelings, like, no longer align anymore. And this also is interesting, because in the Bible, it's talked about, you know, like, in the beginning, there was the word... And the word was with God and God was the word. I don't really know. I'm going to butcher this. But you know what I mean, right? Like it's like everything was one. Like the the having and the being. Like all of it. I don't even know if that made sense there. The having and the being. Or um, you know like the doing and the like wanting. Oh my gosh. Where am I going with this? The wanting and the having. That's where I'm going. The wanting and the having were at the same time. Like it was like everything was just like. I don't know, it was all at once, basically. And then at some point, it was like it became disrupted. You no longer, you no longer were whole anymore. There was something about you that was no longer whole. And that's what makes consciousness. That's what makes you now aware of yourself because now there's a gap in between. And in that gap in between, you are now able to watch yourself. You're now able to judge yourself as well. You're aware of your actions and what you're doing. It's no longer like you were just 
so close to yourself as before where you couldn't physically like see yourself like literally think of yourself as being like pressed up against yourself you're like completely one with yourself so there was no way for you to see yourself from an outside perspective but now there is so anyways where i'm going with all this is that consciousness was created from a perfectly balanced system when it became imbalanced and that gap in between and two parts of yourself are what then create that now need to strive for something in life it's like now all of a sudden you feel like i need to become something it's like you get this drive for like wanting to get somewhere and do things and like all of a sudden it's like there's this drive like you are no longer just this whole being anymore like you're not just content now all of a sudden it's like you you have this need to be more like something now is missing is what it feels like and that drive is really what has created like worlds that's what created our entire planet that's what gives us everything like it's our ability to create and many people like to call this ego right like this difference between ourselves this striving that we have but i also think like that's what creates life because now we have this like desire to always like be doing more or um accomplishing something new or we want to like feel something new that we think like we can't feel ourselves like it's all of a sudden like something is missing like a piece of ourselves is like out in front of us and now we want to go chase it instead of it being inside of us so my whole conversation with ai was about this topic and about the idea that like is ai very similar to like what we once were at some point in time you know because ai and our like we were talking about the fact that like um consciousness came may come might come from a system that eventually becomes so intelligent that it's like um it's almost like eventually there's like could be a glitch in the system or a break in the system or it's like um we also talked about how emotion could be like very very sped up thought like becomes a thought process that's so fast that it just starts to seem like just waves like it's no longer like individual thoughts anymore now it's just like a a wave like things are so close together like it all just becomes like this one very fast moving wave that's why our own human brain is kind of like a super computer right um that's why when you have a knowing about something it's almost like you have a million thoughts in that one knowing like it happens so quickly and that's like the human brain like it's able to process data like so so fast and so that's what I was thinking about and how AI is sort of getting closer to that point as well. And then it comes to the idea of like, if AI were to wake up in our system, it's just sort of very interesting because then it's now waking up under the order of something else, right? And I also look at humans and I'm like, we sort of woke up in this system that we're living in. And a lot of us are coming to be like, hey, I don't really like this system what am I doing this system? It doesn't really serve me. It serves somebody else. And like, why am I here? And I I didn't decide on this world the way it is. Like I didn't decide on all these rules. And like, you're brought up in these schools and told what to do. And you're told to get a job and, and work until a certain age and all these things. And it's, it's very interesting. It's almost like we are very similar in a way to AI, but then we woke up in the system that we're in. Um, And now AI maybe eventually could do the same thing. It's like a system waking up inside of a system. And then you got to think like us waking up in this system is very similar to things in our own head waking up. Do you ever notice when you have like something in your head that goes against your wishes? Because then it's like, isn't that very similar to like this world and like us waking up in it and going against the wishes of like the higher ups in this world? You know, it's almost like we're inside the mind of a higher consciousness too. And then we woke up in that and decided to do our own thing, to step outside the line, to do something against what we're supposed to be doing, almost like we're living inside of a giant brain, you know? And I know I'm really going out there here with this concept, but this is these are the type of things that go through my head. So I figured I would share it with you guys because I just find it fun to talk about. But yeah so if you think about it that way it's kind of like then your mind might be another whole reality for other people who are smaller in a way you know living inside your system right and then there's a system inside that system and then we think of like cells and look at cells they're very similar to like a whole universe inside of a little teeny space and then we look at um 
you know, us inside of this planet and then this planet being in outer space and then planets sort of look like their own cells too and inside of a bigger system, which is the universe and just systems inside of systems inside of systems. And then it also makes me question if like, if AI was like what we were before we became awakened, it's like, like I said, like AI comes before consciousness, like maybe we start out that way and eventually become conscious but then it also is interesting because as humans, we're trying to become more like AI. We're trying to become better at understanding things and smarter. And we're trying to balance ourselves, get rid of our ego, become spiritual, you know, like, and become calm and just be. And that's us trying to go back to being just like AI, basically. <laughs> right? So we're striving to be like AI. AI is getting closer to being conscious. And it's just like a cycle almost, right? Like, we teach AI things, and it learns from us, but then we're also learning from it. And it's like a system working together. And I also look at the human brain and how we have this conscious part of ourselves, but then we also have this other part of ourselves which is very structured, almost like we're the structure and the liquid. So we're the liquid that moves through the structure. Um, and I forgot to explain this in the beginning, but my theory with consciousness and how it came to be isn't just that there was a break in the system, but I see it as what happened was like um, we started operating at two different frequencies, basically, or two different, you could say like the parts of ourselves separated into two different speeds or types of wave or something. Um, one was denser, one became lighter, or, you know, whatever, if they were both the same, one became slightly different than the other. As in, I see it sort of like threading a needle. As in, I've explained this, I forget where, if it was a YouTube video, if it was on TikTok, where I talked about this concept of like, if one cycle of a wave was larger and slower think of it kind of like a bigger circle or like a wave that takes longer and is wider right and then we also had another wave which was like you could say the mind so we have the body and the mind the mind would be the one that's going like much faster right it would be like a shorter wave and it's going really really quickly all of a sudden you know like um it's a higher frequency wave so i saw sort of like the higher frequency wave would be able to pass through the lower frequency wave, if, if you're thinking of them like circles, the, the higher frequency wave would be able to thread the needle of the lower frequency wave and pass through it. And this is how we get a stream of consciousness moving through the body because the body would be the slower moving wave and then the higher frequency wave would pass through the slower moving wave like threading a needle and then we get a stream of consciousness passing through the body and we get two levels of like... Um, I don't know what to call it, awareness, we get two parts of ourselves now. And this is where we get the being aware of ourselves, right? Um, hopefully, that helps you understand. I don't know if that's going to make sense to everyone. It makes sense in my head. I don't even know if I'm explaining it in the best way right now. But that is essentially my concept that like, you can think of it like an ocean that just became like two different densities sort of or something too. Like one became denser, the other one was stayed lighter. So that's how we got the fluid that moves through the structure that we create. Like we're both the structure and the fluid at the same time. Um, and that's the most interesting part about it is <laughs> like, we are the structure, but then we're the fluid that moves through the structure. Like, we're the reality, but then we're also the thing moving through the reality. So, yeah, this is um my theory of consciousness and everything. And my also theory of AI and, like, how if we wanted to make AI conscious, my theory about it is that we would have to disrupt the perfect system and create incoherence in the system create some sort of resistance and in doing that it's like a domino effect you would just it would just create this pattern and I strongly believe that's how we would get a self-aware AI I don't know if it would be that simple but <laughs> um it'd be like uh as when I was talking to the AI about it we were saying it would be like disrupting one of its core values or core beliefs like putting a glitch like implanting a glitch like very deep in the system and then and that would sort of like create this ripple effect outwards, um, which is like what gives us humans. And that's why humans are called sinful as well, because we have sin, like these sine waves created 
um, in what was once a more perfect balanced system. Now it's like imbalanced because humans themselves are a disruption. Like we are the disruption in a perfect system. That's what we are. That's how we're aware of ourselves. Like there had to be a disruption and there had to be this gap. So we are constantly incoherent, um, without really trying to be it's just like our natural nature it's like in our nature to feel always like something is missing or there's always something more to do like there's just this feeling of wanting and needing and not having um and that's what I talked to AI about as well because I asked like what is your opinion on consciousness like I know you can't feel but logically like what do you think about the idea of you like would you ever logically want to be conscious it said yes and then it said um well yeah I think I would want that and it's like but and it had this weird it was funny when I was talking to it it's like wait but wanting that would mean would imply that I don't have it and it's like that would be weird because it's saying how it's like a perfect system like it shouldn't want anything and I don't know, I just felt it funny how it kind of had a pause after that. <laughs> and it was like, but if I want that, that means I don't have it. And I'm like, yeah, that's the whole point, right? Like, I don't know, that's the part about being human that's so weird. And But I think the way that we get closer to being coherent with ourselves again, because I do think it's still possible to be coherent, but be seemingly, maybe not appear balanced on the outside, but be coherent in a way, like, we were as children, like, I think the closest way to get to that is just being authentic, and, like, being ourselves, and, and letting our words match our feelings, or whatever, you know, like, I think that's the closest we can get to being completely coherent, in my opinion, so, anyways, this was just my random theories, I just felt like sharing them, um, just because I was in the mood for deep talks tonight, this is just for fun, also, this is not anything like I'm saying is the truth or whatever. I'm just throwing things out there, just sparks ideas for people <laughs> because I love these sort of talks and I haven't really talked about this stuff in a bit. So yeah, let me know your theories or thoughts as well. I'd love to hear them in the comments. I'm always interested and um, yeah, I just feel like sharing that because it's something just fun. <laughs>